Basketball. Hello and welcome to the 52nd edition of the Coach's Corner Roundtable on the Hoopheads podcast. Each episode of the Coach's Corner Roundtable will feature our all-star lineup of guests answering a single basketball question. A new Coach's Corner Roundtable will drop around the 15th of each month. April's Roundtable question is, what does consistency look like in your program and how does it lead to winning? Our coaching lineup this month includes Dr. Rob Bell, mental toughness coach. Jerry Buckley, Bishop Kenny High School, Eric Bueller, Chatfield High School, Andy Farrell, University of Dayton, Joe Harris, Lake Chelan High School, Bob Krasancic, Mentor High School, Dave McGrail, Penn State Altoona, Dan Miller, San Marcos High School, Matthew Raidbard, author of Lead Like a Pro, Don Showalter, USA Basketball, and John Schulman, from the University of Alabama Huntsville. Please enjoy this roundtable episode of the Hoop Heads podcast. And once you're finished listening, please give the show a five star rating and review after you subscribe on your favorite podcast app. If you're a basketball coach at any level, please check out our Hoop Heads coaching mentorship program. You'll get matched with one of our experienced head coaches and develop a relationship that will take your coaching, your team, your program, and your mindset to another level. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at HoopHeadsPod for the latest updates on episodes, guests, and events from the HoopHeadsPod. Hey, HoopHeads. This April, our partners and friends at Dr. Dish Basketball are offering a huge $3,000 discount with a trade-in of any model in any condition. And they'll knock off $3,000 when you trade in one of their competitors' machines, too. Learn more at DrDishBasketball.com. Follow their incredible content at Dr. Dish B-Ball on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Mention the Hoop Heads podcast and save an extra $300 on the Dr. Dish Rebel, All-Star, and CT Plus models. Visit DrDishBasketball.com for details. Get your Dr. Dish shooting machine today. Hi, this is Chris Meadows, player development coach and author of the book, I Am D1. And you are listening to the Hoop Heads Podcast. Prepare like the pros with the all-new Fast Draw and Fast Scout. Fast Draw has been the number one play diagramming software for coaches for years. You'll quickly see why Fast Model Sports has the most compelling and intuitive basketball software out there. For a limited time, Fast Model is offering Hoop Heads listeners 15% off Fast Draw and Fast Scout. Just use the code HHP15 at checkout to grab your discount and you'll be on your way to more efficient game prep and improved communication with your team. Fast Model also has new coaching content every week on its blog, plus play and drill diagrams on its play bank. Check out the links in the show notes for more. Fast Model Sports is the best in basketball. Let's hear from our panel about what consistency looks like in their program and how it leads to winning. Dr. Rob Bell, Mental Performance Coach. So, great question with consistency. So, I look at consistency as like a goal to be attained, and then also the process in order to get there. So, when you think about like being consistent, it's probably the greatest compliment that you can be given. You know, if you're consistently good, that is be consistent so it's a goal but it's also the process because in order to get to that goal you have to be consistent and so i think with our preparation you you don't have to be crazy about your preparation but you have to be consistent and i think consistency with two components one showing up every day and then the other part is bringing that energy every day the energy and focus that's needed so it gets too easy to go through the motions, and then that's not being consistent, and then one of those legs drops off. The other one is the people that show up with energy that don't show up all the time, that's not achieving the goal of consistency. You have to have both. You have to show up all the time and bring energy all the time. Those are the two hardest skills. Jerry Buckley, Bishop Kenny High School, Jacksonville, Florida. 
Hi, this is Jerry Buckley from Bishop Kenny answering the question about consistency and winning in your program. For us, I would say it kind of centers around two things. Number one is always showing respect, and that means for all players and managers in our program, regardless of their role, their ability, or playing time, um, also respect as far as given to and from the coaching staff, uh, always having respect for opponents and referees, and then overall respect for the game from how we practice and prepare each day to playing and acting the right way on the floor and playing with character. Number two would be establishing a trust that we are doing everything we can to make decisions on always what's best for the team. Um, sometimes that year, some years that could be starting five seniors. Other times it may mean starting a freshman with older players around him. Um, we're always going to try to do what's best for the team. Um, we want to have one agenda as a group, and that's doing everything we possibly can to maximize our abilities as a team. And if everyone feels and understands that in our program, we find that gives us the best chance to be successful. Eric Bueller, Chatfield Senior High School, Littleton, Colorado. Hey, what's going on, Hoop Heads? This is Eric Bueller from Chatfield Senior High. And this month we were asked, what does consistency look like in our program that leads to success? And I think we need consistency a lot in a lot of areas of the game. But I would say for us, for our players, the ones that show up the most and put in actual work game reps on a regular basis, put in uh, full effort reps in the weight room, those are the ones that make the big strides their four years at Chatfield. And the same thing goes for our team when we put in practices where we're consistently getting better in a practice and then that's leading to actual production on the court. Um, that's what success or consistency looks like in our success. Uh, thanks for having me on again, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Andy Farrell from the University of Dayton. What does consistency look like in your program and how does it lead to winning? Well, I think the, the saying of that we really, really adhere to here is how you do anything is how you do everything. What attention to detail do we have in every area and aspect of, of our lives that can lead to wins? I think that leads to consistency. I remember being in junior college, uh, coaching at that level and we had our guys sit in the first two rows of class. They had to be on time for everything. No hats or headphones on in buildings. Um, so I think all those things that, although it may seem small, it was consistent behavior that led to consistent results in the classroom, that led to consistent results in the weight room, led to consistent results in practice. Like how you literally do anything is how you do everything. And I think that adds to wins and losses at, at really any level. You know, it's the, it's the Vince Lombardi saying that you know, winning is not a sometimes thing. It's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while. You don't do the right things every once in a while. You do them all the time. Like winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing. Like that's, that's Vince Lombardi, one of the greatest sports coaches of all times. And I think that's exactly the mentality where, where you, if you're consistent in every action and behavior that you do, then you'll be consistent in your scouting reports, your consistency in your shot preparation, your consistency in executing the play with 20 minutes to go in the half or with 20 seconds to go in the game. I think all that adds to consistency because it's a way of life and it truly is how you encompass and embody that mentality as a player. Joe Harris, Lake Chelan High School, Lake Chelan, Washington. Hello, Hoop Heads. This is Joe Harris at Lake Chelan High School with today's roundtable question. What does consistency look like in your program and how does it lead to winning? Consistency starts with the leader of any program and with the standards you and your teams have set. As coaches, do you stand behind what you say? What you and your program stand for should really be noticeable in practice, games, on and off the court every single day. It is not easy to do, but we were consistent in our program with the expectations we had for coaches, players, parents, and any of our team personnel. As a team, we felt like we could control two things daily, our attitude and our effort. Our teams were consistent with that effort and a selfless devotion to the team. Do we take good shots, play great defense? Are we doing things the right way? 
Were we deliberate in our habits and consistent in our practice? These are things that I, that I believe that if you continue to do, it can help your team achieve at a high level. Thanks for the chance to share and hope you're all doing well. Bob Krasancic, Mentor High School, Mentor Ohio. Bob Krasancic, Mentor High School. Consistency in our program from the players is without a doubt the great effort day in and day out practices, especially in games. If we do get that phenomenal effort, um, I believe our offense, our defense, our presses, and our mentality will be at a high level. Consistency from our staff is that we are never satisfied every single day coming in, trying to tweak what we can do better and always looking for that edge. Have a great day. Your first impression is everything when applying for a new coaching job. A professional coaching portfolio is the tool that highlights your coaching achievements and philosophies, and most of all, helps separate you and your abilities from the other applicants. The Coaching Portfolio Guide is an instructional membership-based website that helps you develop a personalized portfolio. Each section of the Portfolio Guide provides detailed instructions on how to organize your portfolio in a professional manner. The guide also provides sample documents for each section of your portfolio that you can copy, modify, and add to your personal portfolio. As a Hoopheads Pod listener, you can get your Coaching Portfolio Guide for just $25. Visit coachingportfolioguide.com slash Hoopheads to learn more. David McGrail from Penn State, Altoona. Hello there, Hoophead Nation. Uh, Coach McGrail, Penn State, Altoona, back at you, uh, trying to answer this week's, this month's roundtable question. What does consistency look like in your program, and how does it lead to winning? Uh, consistency obviously can mean multiple things. Um, the thing I really look at it meaning is being consistent in our messaging to our to our players, you know. Uh, you have to be consistent in what your expectations are as a coach for each player individually and, and as your team in a whole. Um, you cannot, you know, continue to try and change things every practice, uh, whether it be on the offensive end or defensive end. You got to be consistent with your messaging. You got to be consistent with your system. You got to be consistent with the way that you're trying to teach those things, uh, again, to each, to each player and the team as a whole. Uh, the more inconsistent you are with your messaging and, and, and your teaching, you know, the more confusing it is for the players. Um, so consistency, to me, you know, means being, you know, steadfast with what you want from your players, from your coaches, uh, from from game to game, from practice to practice. That consistency has got to be there in order to be a winning program. Uh, the teams that win, uh, as you can see, they're consistent. Uh, they're consistently good because they consistently spread the same message over and over again from, you know, again, game to game, practice to practice, and then year to year. So I believe that's what the biggest definition of consistency is when it comes to coaching, uh, and that's just trying to be um, consistent with your messaging um, to your players, to your team, uh, and in your entire program. Thank you. Have a great Easter holiday. Talk to you guys soon. Dan Miller, San Marcos High School in San Marcos, Texas. Consistency is extremely important in successful programs. We want to be consistently great in each and everything we do, but it starts with the head coach coming every single day with energy, with effort, with focus, with organization, being consistent in that leading by example, having your players, your best players be consistent with those same qualities each and every day will lead to success, will lead to winning. But we want to also be in the off season consistent with our workouts, with getting shots up. Yes, we're going to change uh, what we do in, in practice plans um, from time to time for sure. But we want to be consistent in our fundamentals, in our skills, Sometimes, like Kobe said, you have to embrace the boring, and that's part of consistency. And then you will consistently start to win if you're doing those things and doing them the right way. Um, 
I think doing the right thing over and over um, and just becoming great at it is a consistent quality in a winning basketball program. Matthew Raidbard, author of Lead Like a Pro. Hey, Hoop Heads Nation. This is Coach Matt Raidbard back with you this month for another Hoop Heads Nation roundtable. Uh, this time discussing what does consistently look like in your program and how does it lead to winning? You know, throughout my coaching career, I've done a lot of different things, tried out a lot of different ideas, but ultimately picking a few things, forming an identity, forming a culture around them, that consistency is what leads to winning. Consistency and winning go hand in hand to me. So what does consistency specifically look like? First off, it looks like you emphasizing as a coach the same things over and over every day that enable you to set a high standard for your student athletes, your, your coaches, and yourself, and also leads to you being able to hold your student athletes, coaches, and yourself accountable to that standard. And that's through consistency that you're able to do that. It's with your policies and procedures. It's how you format your practices. It's what you do in your game days. It's not necessarily always having the exact same routine or the exact same practices every day, but it's always emphasizing those things that are foundational to your program, right? Hard work, determination, resiliency. Those are consistencies that could run through all of the different you know, parts of practice, all the different ups and downs of the season. That's staying consistent. How that leads to winning is the accountability piece, the setting high standards. When you're consistent, when you emphasize things, when, you're, when your players, your coaches understand your belief system, what's important to you, what you emphasize and believe in, then you could form a culture around that strong foundation. And it's that really great culture that helps you lead to winning. And that's why consistency and winning go hand in hand. Don Showalter, USA Basketball. Hi, Don Schoelder here from USA Basketball. Uh, what does consistency look like in your program, and how does it lead to winning? Well, I think, first of all, the consistency comes from your standards that you set with the team and your non-negotiables. You know, what are your non-negotiables? Uh, that, that makes your team more consistent from a total program standpoint and leads to winning. So I think that... Standards and non-negotiables are really an important factor in uh, taking a look at your program. And maybe you want to change your your standards for next year or your non-negotiables for next year. Um, I think that's that's something that you have to take a look at um, and, and in order to develop some consistency in your program. I think also consistency is developed over time with with the relationships. I think when you develop relationships with your team, that develops a certain consistency with your players uh, so they know where you're coming from as a coach. I think that's really important. Thank you. John Shulman, University of Alabama Huntsville and the 720 Sports Group. Yes, this is John Shulman, head coach at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, UAH. And uh, this month's question is, what does consistency look like in your program and how does it lead to winning? Uh, let me, I'll just start with on the court. Um, we're, we're pretty boring and basic about how we start practice every day. We do similar shooting stuff. Um, but what I want to say is, you know, we work on jumping to the ball, three on three, jump to the ball and a two-on-two weak side box out drill every single day. Um, every single day that we're out on the court from August uh, all the way through uh, this year, the day before we played the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament, we jumped to the ball and we boxed out. And we were very, very consistent in what we do. We are to the point that we are boring on what we do. Um, we do, like I said, similar shooting drills, um, and that's how we start practice. And all I've got to do, they, they stretch, and really, we talk, and all they've got to do, I blow the whistle or they hear the horn, and they know what to do sincerely for the first 
15 minutes of shooting, a coach may tell them a little bit this and a little that, but for the next, um, you know, four to six minutes, they know exactly what we're doing. And that consistency, I think, helps with having an idea on jumping to the ball and having an idea about boxing out and doing what we're supposed to do. And so, uh, you know, also different things. Um, when, when we start practice, their shirt tails are tucked in. A lot of coaches don't give a rip. I do, since I do, and th- that means that it's important to our program. Um, I will allow them to roll their shorts one roll, and that's it. That's, they they understand consistency on how we do our business and what time that we get on the court and what time when we start stretching. Five minutes to go in pre-practice, we start stretching, and that's what we do. I, th- I just think consistency gives – People comfort, discipline um, gives people comfort. And when you're comfortable, you're able to perform in a better way. And so if it's chaotic and not consistent, um, how are you supposed to survive in that uh, atmosphere? And so I, I just think everything that we do on, on when we go out and shoot before a game, when we're back in, um, we're going to talk at this time, we're back out at 25 on the clock. And we'll do our warm-ups. We're back in with 11 on the clock. We're back out with 5 on the clock. That's just consistency on game night. And this is what time we're going to stretch, and this is how we're going to stretch, and uh, this is how we're going to travel on the road, and this is how we're going to practice, and this is how we're going to watch film, and this is how just the whole entire program. Yeah, I just personally think you got to be consistent in what you do. And if you are, I think you got a chance to be successful. Um, in in a chaotic world, if we're, you know, consistency on practice times. So on Tuesday and Thursday, we practice early. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we practice late. Um, in the preseason, we'll practice on Sunday evenings, and that's what we do. Um, I think that consistency helps with learning and with being comfortable. And then with comfort, you get better. And when you get better, you got a chance to have some success. Hope this helps. Um uh, Good luck in your uh, postseason and your workouts and trying to get better for next year. Thanks. Thanks for checking out this month's Hoopheads Podcast Roundtable. We'll be back next month with another question for our all-star lineup of coaches. Thanks for listening to the Hoopheads Podcast, presented by Head Start Basketball.